offering of the Holy Mass. Accept most holy trinity, this sacrifice fulfilled at one time by the divine word and now renewed on this altar through the hands of your priest. I unite myself to the intentions of Jesus Christ, priest and victim, that I may be entirely offered for your glory and for the salvation of all people. Through Jesus Christ, with Jesus Christ, and in Jesus Christ, I intend to adore your eternal majesty, to thank your immense goodness, to satisfy your offended justice, and to beseech your mercy for the church, for my dear ones, and for myself. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, And she conceived of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done to me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh, and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mary, Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, forth we beseech you, O Lord, Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ your Son was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, as now and will be, forever. Amen. Mass Intentions for the Day For the intentions of the Superior General, Father Valdir Jose de Castro, SSP, for the intentions of the Daughters of St. Paul, birthday thanksgiving of Ellen Hilario, for the healing and recovery of Father Nick Reforial, SSP, Herbert Garong, Sister May de la Lamon, SJBP, Melchor Peña, for the eternal repose of the souls of Leonila Miguel Zagan, Aristeo Baltasar, Emilita N. Quivel, Jillian Rose Paragas, Filomeno Leonor, Victoria, and June Tadenia, for all the souls in purgatory and for those who are forgotten, for our living and deceased members of the St. Paul Mass Association, and for the Mass Intentions of the Sambuhay TV Mass.
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brethren, we now acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, strength of those who hope in you, graciously hear our pleas. And since without you, mortal frailty can do nothing, grant us always the help of your grace, that in following your commands, we may please you by our resolve and our deeds. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, as your fellow workers, we appeal to you not to receive the grace of God in vain. For he says, In an acceptable time I heard you, and on the day of salvation I helped you. Behold, now is a very acceptable time. Behold, now is the day of salvation. We cause no one to stumble in anything, in order that no fault may be found with our ministry. On the contrary, in everything we commend ourselves as ministers of God, through much endurance in afflictions, hardships, constraints, beatings, imprisonments, riots, labors, vigils, fasts, by purity, knowledge, patience, kindness in the Holy Spirit, in unfeigned love, in truthful speech, in the power of God, with weapons of righteousness at the right and at the left, through glory and dishonor, insult and praise. We are treated as deceivers and yet are truthful, as unrecognized and yet acknowledged, as dying and behold we live, as chastised and yet not put to death, as sorrowful yet always rejoicing, as poor yet enriching many, as having nothing and yet possessing all things. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord has made known his salvation. The Lord has made known his salvation. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done wondrous deeds. His right hand has won victory for him, his holy arm. The Lord has made known his salvation. In the sight of the nations, he has revealed his justice. He has remembered his kindness and his faithfulness toward the house of Israel. The Lord has made known his salvation. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation by our God. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. Break into song, sing praise. The Lord has made known his salvation. Please all stand. Alleluia, alleluia. A lamp to my feet is your word, a light to my path. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, You have heard that it was said, An eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. But I say to you, offer no resistance to one who is evil. When someone strikes you on your right cheek, turn the other one to him as well. If anyone wants to go to law with you over your tunic, 
hand him your cloak as well. Should anyone press you into service for one mile, go with him for two miles. Give to the one who asks of you, and do not turn your back on one who wants to borrow. My dear friends, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Magandang umaga po sa inyo lahat na sumusubaybay ng uh, Sambuhay Daily TV Mass sa kanila na nanonood sa kanilang tahanan, sa mga may sakit at nagpapagaling, you know, sa ating mga kapatid na OFWs, ang pagpapala ng Panginoon ay sumain yung lahat. Meron akong katanungan para sa inyo. Kayo ho ba e eh, meron hong kaaway ngayon? Kayo ho ba yung inaaway o kayo yung nang-aaway? Meron ho tayong kasabihan sa Pilipino, hindi ba? Lintik lang ang walang ganti. It is only in the lightning that we can exact revenge. Alam ho natin yung natural inclination o tendency nating mga tao. Diba? We want to get even. Gusto nating maghiganti kapag tayo ay nasaktan. E kadalasan pa nga eh, bayanihan sa paghihiganti. Maganda ho yung sinabi sa atin ng ating unang pagbasa. San Pablo, liham ni San Pablo sa mga Korinto. Yung presensya ng kaaway sa ating buhay, e eh, parte ho yan ng pagiging alagat ni Jesus. Sa ating pang-araw-araw na buhay, gagawa ho tayo ng desisyon na naaayon sa Diyos. No? Kalooban ng Diyos. E marami yung tao na hindi ho magkakagusto sa desisyon na yun. I think sinasabi ni San Pablo sa atin, go on with that goodness, no? with that decision na naaayon sa Diyos. No? Siyempre, makaka-experience ka ng uh, pag-uusig ng kapwa, paninirang puri, pero parte yan ng pagiging alagat ni Jesus. Yan ho'y pagkakataon upang ipamalas ang kabutihang loob ng Diyos. Sabi naman ho sa ating Ebanghelyo, papaano? Papaano tayong tutugon sa kalooban ng Diyos sa harap, you know, sa harap ng uh, panguusig ng ating kapwa? Sabi ni Jesus, ang kasamaan ay hindi maaaring mapagwagian ng kasamaan, kundi kabutihan. Matutuldukan natin ang kasamaan sa pamamagitan lamang ng kabutihan. Ang mga Hudyo ho, noong unang panahon, e meron ho silang batas. Tinatawag ho nilang Lex Talionis. Ito ho ay nakasaad sa libro, aklat ng Exodo at Deuteronomy at Leviticus. Sinasabi ho doon, mata sa mata, ngipin sa ngipin, kamay sa kamay, paa sa paa, sugat sa sugat, galos sa galos, bali sa bali. Kung ano yung pinsala na kinos mo sa iyong kapwa, e yun rin yung pinsala na ipapataw sa iyo. Ibig sabihin ho, proportionate proportionate. No? Kung ano yung pinsala na ginawa mo sa kapwa, yun rin ang gagawin sa iyo. No? Eh hindi naman ho nito talaga itinataguyod ang paghihiganti. Ngunit nais nitong pigilin yung pagdanak ng dugo. No? Pero ano ho yung sinasabi ng ating Panginoong Yesus? No? Go beyond the law. You have to live by the law of love. The law of love, which is the greatest law. Alam po natin yan, mga kapatid, mahirap po na tumugon ng kabutihan sa mga kasamaan na ginawa sa atin ng ating kapwa. But that is the Christian way to respond to evil. Alam natin na mahirap ang magpatawat. It is a process. It is not an overnight thing. Kaya kailangan natin ng grasa, ng patnubay ng Espiritu Santo sa malaking hamon nito ng ating buhay. Ang pagpapatawad. 
ang tultukan, ang kasamaan ng kabutihan. Amen. Our loving Father has been very good to us. Let us pray that His merciful love may mark our attitude towards everyone. Father, perfect us in your love. Father, perfect us in your love. That as God's people, we may be able to live out Christ's law of love. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, perfect us in your love. That we may forgive our enemies and those who have hurt or wronged us in any way. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, perfect us in your love. That we may do away with division and selfishness, and that we may overcome evil by goodness. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, perfect us in your love. That those who are hardened in sin may be touched by the Spirit of the Lord to repent and change their ways. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, perfect us in your love. And that our beloved dead may be brought safely home to the company of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, perfect us in your love. All this prayers and petitions we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Bless the Lord, God of all creation, for fear good as we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Bless the Lord, God of all creation, for free good as we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all this holy church. O God, who in the offerings presented here provide for the twofold needs of human nature, nourishing us with food and renewing us with your sacrament, grant, we pray, that the sustenance they provide may not fail us in body or in spirit. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord, our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty in our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Father, most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the do fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At a time was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this 
all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Luis Antonio, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy in us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who are pleasing throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you for your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we now dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I live you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Prayer During Communion For those who cannot receive communion, join us in praying the spiritual communion. Jesus Master, you assure me, I am the life. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood will have eternal life. In baptism and in the sacrament of reconciliation, you have communicated to me this life of yours. Now you nourish it by making yourself my food. Take my heart, detach it from the vain things of the world. With all my heart, I love you above all things because you are infinite good and eternal happiness. Amen. Let us pray. As this reception of your holy communion, O Lord, foreshadows the union of the faithful in you, so may it bring about unity in your church. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Praise and all thanksgiving be every moment and time. All praise and all thanksgiving be every moment and time. All praise and all thanksgiving be every moment and time. Have mercy on us. Pray for us. Pray for us. Deliver us, O oh Lord. Vocations to Jesus Master. Jesus Master, sanctify my mind and increase my faith. Jesus, teaching in the church, draw everyone to your school. Jesus Master, deliver me from error, from vain thoughts, and from eternal darkness. Jesus, way between the Father and us, I offer you all and await all from you. 
Jesus, way of sanctity, make me your faithful imitator. Jesus, way, render me perfect as the Father who is in heaven. Jesus, life, live in me so that I may live in you. Jesus, life, do not permit me to separate myself from you. Jesus, life, grant that I may live eternally in the joy of your love. Jesus, truth, may I be light for the world. Jesus, way, may I be example and model for souls. Jesus, life, may my presence bring grace and consolation everywhere. Prayer to St. Paul the Apostle I bless you, Jesus, for having elected the Apostle Paul as a model and preacher of holy virginity. And you, St. Paul, my dear Father, guard my mind, my heart, and my senses, in order that I may know, love, and serve only Jesus, and employ all my energies for His glory. St. Paul the Apostle, pray for us. St. Joseph, we venerate you as the model of laborers, the friend of the poor, the consoler of the afflicted, and those forced to leave their own land, the saint of divine providence. On earth, you represented the universal goodness and concern of the Heavenly Father. You were the carpenter of Nazareth and work teacher to the Son of God, who became a humble laborer for us. Assist with your prayers all who labor in intellectual, moral, and material work. For the nations, obtain legislation inspired by the gospel, the spirit of Christian charity, a way of governing in accord with justice and peace. Amen. St. Joseph, pray for us.